What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoon. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a jungle, forest, rainforest, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do in the video is I'm going to show you guys how to draw it on my sketchbook and then I'm going to take this drawing into Procreate and color it there. So the first thing I'll do when I'm drawing a jungle or pretty much any environment or whatever, I start off with what's known as the foreground. The foreground is the part that really comes to you. It's the part that you see first. Like say, here where my hands are on the camera, that's the foreground. The part of the picture that you would see first before seeing the rest of the drawing. When I'm drawing a jungle or whatever, we can start out with leaves and bushes for the foreground. So I'm gonna just sketch in some leaves here. Okay, and then we can also make some leaves on the other side. Okay, and then we can actually make these leaves have sort of a cut inside of them. Something like this. And then the same on the other side. But that's definitely optional to you guys. You don't have to make them the way I'm doing them. Okay, and then right around these leaves, what I can do is make some bushes, so that way the leaves have, you know, something to hide in, but again, that's also optional, but the way I like to make the bushes is I'm going to make them as this shape, like so. Hopefully you guys can see that line, but when I draw the bushes, I just have just a basic puffy shape, and then we can also include one in the middle too. Okay, and then I'm going to add some details to the bush with just some little lines like so. And then there, that's our foreground. Let me ink it with my ink pen so you guys can see it better. Okay, so now our foreground is in place. Now what we're gonna do is move back and start drawing the middle ground. So before we do that, I'm gonna grab my ruler. I'm just gonna make a horizon line just across the page so that way we have a stopping point because we don't want to make the middle ground too far out you know so when I'm, so also in a forest you will find more bushes but also the main part of a forest or jungle would be the trees or it wouldn't be a jungle so a tree what I like what I like to envision a tree as is a very very tall cylinder so I'm going to start off on this side and draw a cylinder. And maybe the stopping point of it can be behind the bush. Which we won't see because this bush is the foreground. And actually, let me grab my other ruler. And let's make sort of like a, a rectangle in the middle of the page. I mean, let's connect each corner to each corner, pretty much. So that way, when we're drawing the trees, there's a line for them to rest on, so that they pretty much go in the same direction, you know? Okay, so we're gonna make another cylinder. And do the same on this side. And 
And then we can have one tree acting like a foreground, but not exactly. Because the tree that I'm drawing here, this is supposed to be a tree. We're not going to see the other side of it. And it also will be overlapping what we see on the tree that's behind it. So this is also a tree, and this will be too. Okay, and now that we got all the cylinders in place, we can begin to draw some branches, you know, here and there on the tree. So for this one, I'm going to make this one into a branch. Just going to make like a little arm sticking up, pretty much. The way I like to draw branches is, is like an arm on the tree just sticking straight up and then we don't necessarily have to do it for all of them just the ones that I that you think will be necessary like for this one for this tree I'm gonna have some of the leaves being visible so a branch will be right underneath it I gotta so this branch will be right here right below where the leaves are on the tree and then that branch will just be sticking up into the leaves like so Okay, so now all the branches are drawn, and what we can do is we can change the cylinder shapes that we drew earlier. We can change those so that they look like actual trees, because a standing up cylinder like this, it doesn't really look much like a tree, because that, that could be anything. So that's why we can, uh, let's erase this line here. I like to have it coming inwards just a little bit, and then coming back outwards. And then we can also make them a little bit jagged if you want. Like say this line is not straight and it doesn't have to be. Because you know trees are made by nature. They don't have to be a specific shape. Or the lines don't have to be very very straight. So like this one. Make a branch on the back of here. So yeah. Okay, for this tree I want to have like a little carving on it, maybe like a hole inside of it. Maybe like a nesting hole for birds maybe is what I want to make. So I'm going to make a little hole into this tree right here. And then I'm going to shade that in real quick because it's supposed to be dark. It's meant to be dark. And this tree can be one of the ones that are super plain. But again, we're just altering the shape for now. Alright, and now we're going to go to the bottom part of the trees. You know, the part that sits on the ground. What we can do for that one is, uh, sometimes on trees, the root structure shows like above the ground sometimes they don't so mostly what I do is I'm gonna erase the bottom for a minute and I'm just gonna draw blades of grass to help cover that up because the tree will, will be sitting inside of the ground and the root structure can be sitting above the ground or it can be sitting below it so um, for this tree I'm gonna have the root structure sitting down below the ground or a tree that doesn't really have a root structure just have roots under the ground, but 
or just have roots under the ground and that's it. So um, for this one, we're gonna have a root structure here. Like a bunch of jagged roots and stuff. And then in the middle part, the way I drew this root, we just to glue blade the grass. And it, and it works. And we can include blade the grass on the roots as well. And then this one won't show. This one we can keep it simple. All right, so now that the trees are all drawn, we can include some lines on the trees to help get some texture into place. Like say, let's go with this one over here. And when I draw the tree, we can have like a wood texture coming up like this. It looks like a rainbow. And then we can have some lines going around it. Or we can just have some lines going up and down. Maybe some that curve. Maybe some that are so jagged and go straight like so. And the placement of these lines is pretty miscellaneous. You can place them anywhere on the tree. You can even place them on the branches like how I'm doing here. And that way your viewer gets a feel of texture. And then for this tree, I'm gonna have lines going all around because there's a hole in it. And I want the lines to kind of go around it. Okay, and then this one is pretty basic, so this one will be easy. But we're not done yet. Also, there's more in a jungle like rocks, more bushes, and you know, whatever else. Maybe some logs as a remnants of, of these trees. You know, something like that. So I'm gonna include a rock maybe right here, maybe to help cover that up. And then blade of, blades of grass. And then a couple more rocks over here. And then I'm gonna include another bush behind everything here. So I'm gonna make another line here and just make like a big giant bush here. and make sure that continues behind all these other trees. Um, it will continue back here because we got a tree and a tree here. But there is space back here and also back here as well. And so yeah, that's a big giant bush there. Um, you can also break this into two by doing what I'm doing here. So we got one bush right there and you can make that into three. And then I can just draw maybe some leaves sitting in the in the center. Maybe some more blades of grass. And there we go. We got our middle ground. Okay, now the jungle looks pretty much drawn already, but all that's left for us to do is the background. This part where the square is and everything else behind. So this is what our jungle looks like now. We have the foreground and the middle ground already drawn here, but we're not done yet. Everything that's in that area with the square and behind all the trees and bushes that we drew earlier, that's the background. Basically this entire area here and whatever other parts similar to it. So when I'm drawing the background for a jungle, what I can do is I can do what we did earlier with the trees and make them um, cylinder shape. So like here's one tree. And then we can include another, maybe right here. And 
then we won't see much of them so we don't need to add a whole lot of them so we're gonna include one right over here yeah that's pretty much it and there that's our jungle picture keep in mind that we started out with the foreground and then worked our way towards the middle ground and then towards the background so now that the drawing is pretty much complete i'm going to take this into procreate and add some color to it Alright, so that's how you draw a jungle. And I'm going to put my layer line up so you guys can see how exactly I colored this piece. But as you can see, I did give everything its own layer. And on each of those layers, I decided to add a clipping mask for it, which I used for the shades. And then, of course, I added the highlights, which I kept on just one layer. And then I did something a little bit different with the highlights. I usually leave them white and then just finish the illustration like that. But this time, I decided to add like a clipping mask layer on top of it and then give this illustration colored highlights. But for that, I just used the lighter variation of the base color that I used for, you know, each part of the illustration. But that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I